friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada. And today we are here on sadly our very last full day on board Seabourn Encore. And we have anchored just off the coast of the island of Bojeda here in Turkey. So really excited to explore Bojeda. I heard it has some great wines and also uh, it's really a cute little town here. So let's get the day going. After enjoying a breakfast on the veranda, it was time to head into Bojeda by water tender. Bojeda is the third largest Turkish island located just off the west coast of Turkey. With just over 3,000 inhabitants, the main industries here are tourism, wine production, and fishing. If you do visit Bojeda, be sure to check out the castle. It's from the 14th century and the Ottoman Empire. However, they do say that there was a castle here much earlier than that. However, this is when this particular structure was rebuilt. Also to note that there is a small fee to enter the castle area and they only accept lira. So be sure that if you are gonna come to Bojeda to have a little bit of lira cash on you, they don't accept euros or credit cards. I also just wanted to mention this safety note that as you can see, there are no safety railings or areas that were blocked off. So if you are traveling and you aren't sure footed, make sure that you do kind of hold on to something as you are climbing around as you won't find any ropes or anything like that. Also be sure to keep an eye on small children as there are vast drops in quite a few places. But it is a really beautiful castle to check out and I was so thankful that we visited before the crowds got here. After our castle visit, we walked through the main part of town where we found a locals market happening. Near the port area, there was another market that was selling more tourist related goods such as magnets and other souvenirs. Also, when we arrived into Bojeda, we did receive a card that we needed to hold on to and then also give back once we were heading back to the ship. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to eat at sushi this cruise. However, I did want to feature it here in this video to show what this specialty dining room looks like. This is another venue that is included with your cruise here on the Seabourn Encore. It was time for one last afternoon tea in the observation bar. The Seabourn Encore also offers some great duty free shopping. They even have some Seabourn related goods for sale.
On our final evening, we had an Epicurean event at the pool deck. I had such an amazing week with Seaborn and really suggest them as a cruise line. The inclusions, the drinks, the food, everything we had was absolutely spectacular and the crew was so friendly and helpful. I really suggest Seaborn Cruises if you are looking for a great experience and cruise line. If you are interested in learning more about Seaborn, please reach out to me and my team. We would love to work with you if you don't already have a travel advisor. You can contact us using the link found in the description box down below, or you can visit my website at wonderlessjourney.ca. It was so nice that most of the crew came out so we could all give them a round of applause for all their hard work this week. For our final meal, as we were sailing through the Dardanelles Strait towards Istanbul, we ate al fresco out at the colonnade. As we finished our dinner, we passed under the 1915 Chanakale Bridge. This bridge is the longest suspension bridge in the world, with the main span of 2.023 kilometers or 1.257 miles long. Currently, this bridge is also the second tallest bridge in the world. Well friends, we have made it to Istanbul and so sad that this cruise is coming to an end. We were drinking our coffee and mimosas this morning with the beautiful view of Istanbul in the background. And yeah, it was just such a lovely week here on the Seaborn Encore. We are now going to unfortunately check out of the room uh, we are going to go up for breakfast at the colonnade and then we will be disembarking the ship and then heading to our hotels the next episode after this one will actually be my experience here exploring istanbul as this is my first time to turkey so very excited to be sharing my thoughts on istanbul as well and what we got up to so unfortunately let's get this disembarkation day going and go have breakfast up at the colonnade As I was eating my breakfast and enjoying the views of Istanbul, I have to say that Seaborn was definitely the best cruise experience I've had thus far. I really suggest Seaborn Cruises if you are looking for an ultra luxury cruise experience. After we had our waffles, we unfortunately left the ship. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching.